Salutations Cosmonauts! So this video is going to be a quick parts breakdown slash build guide for my current ship, Doris. A huge shout out to Philium Plays who I ripped off a crap load of his designs. If you were to look at his uh, video, I forget the name of the title of the video, it's one of his uh, later uh, build guides. <laughs> You'll see that I've taken a lot of cues off of his ship. But anyways, what I wanted from this ship was I wanted way more cargo. I wanted a beefy shield and I wanted uh, lots of good weapons like these uh, the Vanguard Obliterators. Six of those bad boys. I'm sure that's a fan favorite and a lot of you guys are probably already doing that. And I wanted some missiles. I wanted to play around with some missiles here. And I got my suppressors, the Fulminator 8000 Suppressor. So the missiles is um, the CE-49 Missile Launcher. So where can you build this bad boy? The vast majority of this you're going to build at uh, your outpost uh, shipbuilder. And uh, I think it's the vast majority of things you can get uh, there. Other than these engines, which I got from the Red Mile. This reactor I got from uh, New Atlantis. But I think this is a fairly common reactor. You can get it at most places. But the shipbuilder, you cannot. Yeah, so I want to say that this ship is actually still a work in progress. This is not its finalized form. The thing that's holding me back is my reactor, 29 reactor. Uh, that's mainly because of my level. Uh, I have a uh, piloting fur and I have starship design for as well So you may want to do that as well because I don't think you could buy these engines or this reactor No piloting four. Yeah, there's uh engines you're gonna need starship design too amongst other things Anyways, it's so easy to get it up You know, that's what she said, but just um make sure you have your perk points level find your favorite Leveling guide or what you're gonna do go kill a bunch of stuff go craft a bunch of stuff at your post Do what you gotta do get those perk points and then yeah, just knock it out. You might as well. You're watching this video, that means you like building ships, so... Yeah, go all in! So, a few concerns about my current build is its uh, passageways. It's not like a maze or anything, but I'll show that to you when I do the walkthrough. It's not a huge deal, it's just something I want to improve on. And another thing, if you look under here, you'll see that there's this long channel where uh, the bay is here. Uh, Philion had a like a landing gear here and I kind of didn't like it because it looks like uh, you'd have to duck under just to get there the pathway wasn't quite clear my future plans is I'm tinkering and tweaking this thing furthermore I'm probably gonna move this landing bay up a little bit to probably about right there and then I could add more cargo here so honestly this is probably more than enough and um, as soon as I get my outpost situation set up I'm not gonna need like a lot of cargo in my ship anyway but this was for fun, I like building ships. Alright, so uh, let's dissect this bad boy and let's go over the parts. Okay, so here we are in three distinct delicious flavors and layers. So let's start with the bottom layer. Alright, so as always, it's always recommended to start with your landing bay. So, let's start with the landing bay. I'm using the Hope for Landing Bay, placed right here. Right behind it, this is my grav drive. And I went with this because it's uh, it's a smaller one and it fits better with this build. You can get bigger ones, but this is more than enough. This grab jump thrust of 36. Come on, I got 25 uh, light year range. That's fine. I'm only like level 34, I think. So <laughs> I have yet to need to like venture super far, and I really don't have a problem getting around anyway. Right on each on each side of my uh, of my uh, landing bay here, I've got a. Uh, the AccuLander 11 landing gears. There's four of them on each side. And as you can see, these two are connected directly to the side here. Then there's one in front of that, and there's one behind all this here. And then to cap it off in the front is the Stroud Eklund Stroud Cap A port 4 bot. So, nice little shape. And on each side, giving it a nice sleek edge is the Deimos Wing A port pointing forward. And behind that, I've got the Deimos Bumper port aft pointing backwards. And capping it at the very end, I've got this SAE 5220 engines. Got two of them, capping them off here. And then finally, for just a little bit more spice, I got the Deimos Wing A port pointing this away, kind of overhanging it a little bit. Right, this is what it looks like from underneath. This is what it looks like from the top. So you got a lot of angles to refer, uh, reference from, guys, if you want to do what I did. But like I said, this is a work in progress, and you're probably going to want to tinker with your ship anyway. Who of us doesn't want to? 
All right, so moving on to the next layer of the ship, I'm gonna go part by part, and I'm gonna assemble it one by one, such as these. So, starting off with the Stroud Workshop two by one. This is gonna go directly above the bay. When you're looking at it, you're gonna see the grav drive jutting out from over here. And we're moving on to the next, Stroud Infirmary two by one. That's gonna go directly to the side of that there. And now we're moving on to this other 2x1, the Nova Galactic Armory. I chose this. This is like the only non strout eclant hab I'm using because, yeah, this armory has mannequins. It's really cool. So, I'm gonna put this in the position right there. So, you got these three just stacked side by side. And then I don't, I don't like these loose pieces here. So, let's go to these uh, 500T HE3 tanks. And I'm gonna put that. That goes right here directly behind this hab and the other one opposite to that and then these little wing things and I've got uh, my Vanguard obliterator auto projectors attached to that and that's gonna go right there connect on to the side of the fuel tank and we're gonna put this one as well cool right so now let's place these uh, Deimos wing A ports in the Demos bumping port aft, as long as it's as well as its weapon that's attached to it, which is another Vanguard obliterator auto projector. And that's just gonna go over here, just like that. And then this other one on the other side. Who would have thunk it? But so that's what that's gonna look like. Oh wait a minute! Pretend you didn't see that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And then I'm gonna move my uh, Stroud all in one berth, three by one. And this is gonna go right over here in front of this bay. Kind of looks like a middle finger in a way, huh? Okay. And I got this floating uh, missile launcher here. It's attached to, um, what's it called? An equipment plate? Yeah, an equipment plate. So I'm gonna go ahead and just attach this. I'll put that right there. Okay. So now let's put these uh, Stroud Nose Cap C port forays and these empty little cavities here. So that's what it should look like. Very nice. And now let's reposition these Demos Wing A ports. It goes into the side at the very end of that 3 by one hab. There you go. And then a final piece of this layer of the sandwich. Is a Snova weapon mount, and it has my Fulminator 8,000 suppressors. You can put the weapons wherever you want. This is where I put mine. There might be a better spot, actually. And, uh, yeah. That caps that off. Already it's looking pretty cool, in my opinion. Someone said it looked like a brick, man. He meant well. He's just trying to give, you know, he's just being, I don't know the right words. Here are my feelings, man. No, I'm just kidding. It's all good. I think the ship looks amazing. Right, so we're working on the top layer of the sandwich. And I'm gonna start by uh, moving my Fusor DC-401 reactor. And this is gonna go right on top of the grav drive. So it's gonna stick up like that. You see it? Yeah, you see it. Yeah, I know it's all black, so it might be hard to see, but you get the picture, you can figure it out. All right, pause. Take a beat, use your eyeballs. Here, I'll zoom in for you. Yeah, like that, see? All right, I knew you got it. I knew you could figure it out. I believe in you, man. You're amazing. You know that? Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. And now, I got another 3 by one Stroud Engineering Bay because I wanted to expand my crew stations. Now that I'm looking at it, it says Crew Stations 1, so I probably chose the wrong thing. Yeah, I'm an idiot. So what? Still looks cool. Put whatever you want. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and move this uh, Stroud Engineering 3 by one And this is going to go right here. Fitting snugly against uh, the reactor here. It's sitting in between these two here. And from the angle, the dramatic angle, it looks like these. Kabish? I knew you Kabish. And uh, let's go ahead and put the, the Magellan C1 cockpit. It's gonna go right here, attached right there. It's gonna sit snugly between the hab and the missile launches. Q. And let's go ahead and uh, relocate the Connect uh, Pro Docker top. That's gonna go right there. So right, be, right in front of the grab drive. And it's gonna sit directly above uh, the landing bay here. So the ladder goes straight up. 
cool. And now look at this beefy bad boy here, the Surgeon's SG 1800 Shield Generator. Shield max health 1600? Are you kidding me? Yeah, but max power 12, holy crap. So let's move this. That goes right there. In front of this, uh, the docker right here. Cool. Alright, so let's work from the center here. Let's start with this one. So I got the Stroud Eklund 3 LAPT. And, uh, that's gonna attach right over here. Boop. Just like that. Yeah, it's starting to come into focus, kid. And let's go and attach the Stroud Eklund Stroud Cap A, Port 4A. And this has the Vanguard Obliterator on it, too. So I got six. Who doesn't, right? Go big or go home. Uh, should I do these? Nah, let's go with my cargo here. I got the, the Galleon S204 cargo hold. 1480 cargo, holy crap. But that mass, man, 312 mass. And you need Starship Design Rank 3. Mm-hmm. So that's going to sit directly on top of the fuel tanks. And now let's go and do the engine. The engine is the SAE 5220 engine by Slayton Aerospace. So, just get a quick situation. How things are looking over here. This is how everything should be sitting. Very nice. So let's go ahead and move the engine. Boom. ka -chow. That's where that goes. And I guess I might as well move these demos spined uh, A and spinos uh, spined C four days. So, I'm just control clicking, selecting that stuff. And, uh, set that on top. Breaks up the, the lines and stuff, you know. Let's get a closer look here. So you guys can see how it's supposed to go. What do you think of my color scheme, man? I like it. I think it's pretty cool. I don't care what you think. Forget I asked. Okay. Alright, so I wanted some shielded cargo. I got the 200cm ballast shielded cargo hold. 190 cargo. I just realized I didn't put a, what do you call it, com... Whatever helps you with the smuggling, the scrambler thingy. You know what I mean. You can get it at the Red Mile. I need to get that. Uh, I attach this to the, um, yeah, right here on the inside of the engine. Just like that. And it just blends in because everything's black. All right. I got these two uh, three um, Deimos Wing stuff. So this one is a Deimos Wing A port. This is a Deimos Bumper port aft. And this is a Deimos Wing A port. So... Yeah, just slap these bad boys to the sides. This one goes uh, towards the end of this um, Stroud cowling. See how it looks? Yeah, you see. Then let's move this bumper to the side of the cargo. Yep, just like that. And this thing goes to the side of the engine. Just like that, mirrors the bottom engine. This is probably one of the first things I'm going to change when I get a better reactor and stuff like that. I mean, these are really awesome engines, but I don't know. Kind of plain, boring, too symmetrical. Maybe like have two big ass engines and two small engines or something. I don't know. Like I said, it's a work in progress. I'm figuring it out. All right, and basically do the same thing on the other side. So start with the Stroud Cowling 3 L A S T Stray Stroud Cowling Eklund Cowland, whatever. Boop, and it goes perfectly. Matches this three by one hab here. Then we're gonna move this uh, Stroud Cap A in front of that right there. It gives us this, this, this delicious sandwich look that I just find irresistible. Oh yes, I'm hungry. Um, then we're gonna move uh, the Galleon S204 cargo hold on top of the fuel tank over here. Whoosh, dramatic panning. <laughs> so you see what's going on? Yeah, you see it. All right, so uh, then we're gonna move this engine, the SAE 5220 engine, behind the cargo bay. I don't know, how's the fuel and stuff get through the cargo bay? Who knows? It just works. Right, Todd? All right, then we're gonna take this ballast shield of cargo hold, slap it on the side of that engine. So it looks like that. And then all the finishing touches, the set dressings, the spas. So demos uh, spine A fore, top of the cargo hold. Spine of spine C fore, top of the engine. Demos wing A, side of the hab. Not the hab, side of the cowling. Demos bumper. Side of the cargo. Demos wing A. Side of the engine. And then you're done. Paint it up. Make her look pretty. Make her look sexy and sleek. And go out there and whip some uh, Crimson Fleet. Spacers. All those guys. 
tear them up, show them what for. So here you go. I wish I could tell you how much it cost me, but um, I don't remember the exact figure. So let's ballpark it. Uh, I want to say if you're sitting around, <laughs> if you're building this from scratch like I did, uh, it's going to be like around 500,000 creds without the, um, what was that perk called? You know, the perk that gives you better prices and all that. But yeah, so there you go. Okay, let's do the walkthrough so I can tell you, show you some of my concerns and some of the things I love about this. There she is, Doris! You're glorious! What are you gonna name your ship? You can't use Doris. It's trademark, it's mine! Only I can use granny names to name my ships. Alright, so here is where you enter. Obviously. Well, you could exit out here too. I mean, I'm just saying. Alright, enter Doris. Ooh, sounded so dirty. So what do you see upon entering? Looking straight ahead, this is my workshop hab. All the workshops, yes! Hello, Andrange. She's entering the, the infirmary. So yeah, here's my pharmaceutical labs. And by the way, if you guys have been watching my Let's Play, they are currently both my girlfriends. I am not kidding. I'm engaged to Sarah, and uh, Andrange is my girlfriend. And depending on who my active follower is, it de uh, determines who I go to sleep with. Yeah, it's awesome. I wish I could tell you how I did it. I think it's a bug. But ultimately, I pursued Andrange first, entered a relationship with her, then pursued Sarah, got to the point of marrying her, got back to Andrange, who was extremely pissed, but then I somehow defeated the persuasion check, and now it's all good! <laughs> oh, Boda's got two girls. How, how scandalous. Okay, sorry. That was a long tangent. Alright, so back to the entry. Workshop. Here's the other side over here. This is that badass Nova Galactic Armory. Like, this area is just kind of plain. Got some displays here. Got really good stuff here. Got your little wall mount of stuff, little chests and things like that. Backpack stuff. The only thing I wish it had was a helmet stand. But this, Look the piece de resistance. Hello, Adrian. How are you doing? Hey, everybody. This is Adrian. I'm just giving everybody a walk through of the ship real quick. So don't mind us. So I got two mannequins here. Yeah, how cool is that? I haven't displayed anything yet, but I will. All right. So going back to the center here. And what, this is what I love about this layout. One central point where you enter and it veers off to left and right and straight ahead. That's it. It's not a maze. This is the all-in-one hab. And now there's a ladder here. Hmm. That's interesting. So just shuffling the pieces around shifted the ladder. Yeah, that ladder used to be over here, going over here. Oh no, it plans don't go to plan. Well, anyways. Yeah, I'm sure I could finagle it. And anyways, I kind of wanted to relocate this ladder anyway. Yeah, great excuse there, JT. I know. I know, I'm, I'm brilliant. So you come into here. This is the um, all-in-one hab. Here's the bathroom. Yeah. And there's a shower, too. Four beds. Very important. Very, very important. So you go over here. Here's the kitchen. And, uh, you know, a little public service announcement. If you, if you want to use the stove, you got to, like, point right here. And uh, it'll actually indicate that the rag is the galley. So yeah, there you go. So plenty of space for R&R &R for my peeps. I currently have uh, Andresia, Sarah, Vasco, and Adrian. So normally this ladder would have been over there. So let's pretend that's what happened. All right, boop, you pop up here. And uh, this is one my one little niggle. It's a long walk to the cockpit. Actually, I kind of like the ladder here. Pop down here. Easy access to the bed. I kind of like this. I think I'll keep it. <laughs> Honestly, I want to move it to where um, the bay is probably right there, too. Yeah, this is nice. This is where the magic happens. Here's my cockpit. Yeah, I'm a Jedlin cockpit. So that's pretty cool. What do you say we take her up? Damn, Dosh, you're looking good. And here she is, ladies and gentlemen, and with my little limited reactor, this is how I distribute my power. And it's regrettable. I mean, um, it probably would be better if I dropped the engine and just maxed out the shields. That would probably make more sense. But I gotta go fast, you know? This isn't so bad. But with these Vanguard particle beams, or whatever they're called, what's great about them, since they're auto turrets, or not turrets, auto cannons or whatever, uh, no matter what level of power you get, they always fire at maximum uh, rate and the only thing that the amount of juice that you have pumped into it dictates is how fast it recharges so if you look at my reticle top right 
So it goes down. And then when it runs out, you stop firing. But it still recharges pretty quick, even though I'm not full powered there. And with missiles, what's cool about missiles, you get full power of missiles no matter what, as long as you got one power in it. And once again, all it affects is how fast the, uh, the missiles recharge when you run out. But just with that one little bar, I could fire off four missiles, man. And each missile doing a hundred hole and shield damage? One or two missiles, though, is pretty much all I need per ship. So yeah, I'm pretty cool with that. And there you have it, my friends. There's Doris, there's how I built it. And I even gave credit to the original guy, Fillion Plays. So thank you, dude, for uh, sharing your thoughts and ideas online and letting me steal it. But you had a good time with this. I hope you found some inspiration, or if not, outright copying it. I don't think too many people will because it is really expensive and it's not even giving me everything I want. But it's fun. It's something to tinker, it, uh, tinker with. It's my uh, work in progress ship. And it's really a stopgap until I get my outpost ready. I just need a ship with a lot of cargo space. But once I get my outpost set up, I'm gonna be, it's going to be more of a streamlined battle cruiser type ship. So thank you for coming by. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.